Hello and welcome back to another video. Midweek, meanderings, off the beaten track, whatever you want to call it. It's a midweek video, so we do something slightly different. Anyway, a couple of things before we crack on with the video I wanted to say to you. If you're watching this in real time, in that the last video you watched of mine was medlock number 10, I don't know if I gave the impression that that was the end of the medlock. It's not. We've still got to explore possibly Castlefield, and we need to go to the other side of the uh, the culvert, the siphon, and see where the medlock comes out, and then it goes for a short distance to its confluence with the Irwell. So there's more to come yet, so we're... Uh, yeah, more medlock to come, so don't worry about it. The second thing I wanted to say to you was that um, a couple of people have said that they've been unsubscribed from the channel, or that when I've done a live stream or put a video out, they haven't been notified. Um, YouTube can be a bit like this. It, if, if you dip in and out of the videos and you don't watch all the time, and I get that, it could be that you just like the railway stuff or the canal stuff. If it sees that you're not watching all the time, it can be a bit of a bugger and it can unsubscribe you. So just double check you are still, still subscribed. And also, if you go to um, the screen where you subscribe, when you've subscribed, it'll, you'll see a bell. That's a notification bell. If you click that bell, um, I'm using Paul and Rebecca's channel here as an example. If you click that bell, um, it'll keep you notified when I upload a new video. Anyway, that said, that's it. So there's more Medlock to come and click my bell. Um, I got a chance to play with a new toy, um, kind of a water drone. It was a friend of mine, it weren't mine. So we went back down to the River Irwell where we were in summer underneath George Stevenson's Bridge and we tried it out. Waters were a bit murky when we looked down into the water, so let's go down to Manchester and the River Irwell. Hello, welcome back to another video, just a little short video. We're playing out today, unfortunately it's raining, great summer, but now it's raining. I'm just down by the River Irwell and uh, we're at uh, George Stevenson's Bridge, the original bridge that brought the original railway line from Liverpool into Manchester to the Liverpool Road uh, station. Somebody's contacted me and said, I've got a water drone. Uh, I saw a water drone. I've heard of flying drones, but never heard of a water drone. So we're down here just trying out this water drone. It's quite fun, actually. Uh, the thing is mental. It goes really, it's like a speedboat in the water with a camera attached, all remote control. So I've actually been down here canoeing. So I was underneath there on a canoe, can you believe? But another fun way of having a look at George Stevenson's bridge and getting on the Irwell is to try this drone out. So I'll just show you the drone now. So it comes with a remote control like a flying drone. And there's the beast, something like Stingray, isn't it, really? Um, power vision. You can buy these, I don't know how much they cost, but you can buy them, you have to look it up. Uh, two big fins on the top. Let's get a bit of a front shot for you. So that's it, power vision. It's been in the murky air well, this. Um, two little uh, props on the back, something like, like I say, like Stingray and it's got a camera on the front. Um, so we're gonna have a go, we're gonna put this in the water um, and we're gonna power up and down and see if we can get some shots of the beautiful, the bridge there for you and uh, see how far it'll go. So yeah, let's try this thing out. Apparently these are for the Wi-Fi, these are antenna that um, pick up the signal from the remote control. Amazing thing, isn't it? Really is an amazing thing. But anyway, let's get it in, see how it does. It. Yeah.
So it's got this useful little attachment on the back here and you can attach a rod or um, I say a rod, I mean like a bait rod and you can put a fishing line on it and you can drag things along <laughs> There you go, see that's your bait going into the water So it's quite useful imagine if you're a, a fisherman you can send your bait out and everything Right, so power drone is now back in the, uh, in the water there as you can see and um, we've put it on underwater mode, well basically what I mean is we've put the camera downwards to look down into the water so we've just had a bit of a, a swim round and looked at the bridge George Stevenson's bridge which is the one there underneath the one in front um, we've now gone into camera down mode light on so we'll see what we can see in the depths of Manchester's River Irwell There you go, shenanigans with drones, water drones. Uh, I wanted to leave it in the water for a lot longer to see if it would get approached by a fish. Because the principle is fishing, isn't it? Anyway, we didn't do, but it was interesting to see uh, just under the water at the bridge and everything. So, potential uses, further uses for that. We'll have to see what we can do with it. Um, this was just a trial, just thought I'd show you a little uh, toy that we've been playing with. It's not mine, it's somebody else's. But I just thought I'd show it you and uh, give you an interesting take on the, the River Irwell and the bridges and everything. So think of things we can do with it. I'm interested to hear what you've got to say. Thanks for watching this very short little rec reconnaissance mission video. See you next time. Hey.